follow the water and see where it flows. This is all an artificial pond though. It's not what we want. City sewer, we need county storm drain. And I know that uh, one of the major ones has to cross somewhere in this plot. You can tell if it led down to a smaller chamber or if that was a pipe in the main one. Yeah, this is the kind of shit I was looking for out here. Awesome. <laughs> this is really fucking cool. Stand on the strip in Vegas. You don't see poor people, you don't see water flowing. Yeah, this place used to be a desert oasis with streams running through. And we know that there are poor people and homeless people here, especially since this recession hit. But somewhere towards these acres and acres of new development that have paved over the old desert floor so that every time it, every time it rains, all of that water has to drain off the impervious concrete and into impervious tunnels like this. the city it's a playground we're gonna end up some point underneath the far side of Caesar's Palace they didn't have uh, much of an existing city infrastructure to tie into so they just use their driveway as part of the, the drainage channel when it rains you actually can't park underneath Caesar's Palace So it's almost two o'clock in the morning. There's a chance we'll be waking up people or animals. Hello, anyone here? Huh. Sorry, we got some painful crawling here. Uh, another way around it, okay? So we just gotta kind of like crouch low. Hello? Sorry, Bobby, if anybody's here. Someone here. Oh, hi. How you doing? Sorry to bother you. My name is Steve. You know where I'm here? I'm filming with my friend Andrew. We were just checking out the different tunnels. Are you with the construction project? Or are you still here? Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you, man. I tried to shout to make sure we weren't bothering anybody. No, it's no sweat. I mean, uh, that's why I say farther down inside you go. Better be armed. So we've not been warned off. I've been going in these tunnels by two separate people. Look, it might be the wrong direction, but I'm really curious about what's over here. Sounds are really deceptive in tunnels, and sometimes a little trickle of water can sound like a waterfall. This is what happens when it does rain. The water flow just piles everything up against these pillars. Uh, we've got water coming in. A little bit of water is like being a little bit pregnant. If the water is rising at about one inch per minute, huh, 
That's pretty high. Uh, I take back about four inches for a minute. There's actually a halfway here. I have no idea where it's coming from. That's what makes me a little worried. Because this is directly underneath the casino and it connects to the rest of the city through these tunnels, there are motion detectors there. I've always wanted to try going out this way, but I've always gotten caught before. <laughs> built a, a set of casinos that are kind of like self-contained little cities that are all connected to each other. I think we should leave. I mentioned motion detectors, right? Because nowadays there's this erratic uh, uh, back and forth between flooding and dry, um, people make their homes in these tunnels, but they can't do it year round. Um, every couple years there'll be a strong enough flood, either during the summer from snow melt or during the winter from heavy rains, that it'll uh, just wash everybody out. I mean, literally. Sometimes it kills people, um, sometimes it just washes out all of their, uh, their camp. So this is a, a shorter section of tunnel going directly underneath the Hard Rock Casino Hotel. That fancy decorative pond around the Luxor or the, um, you know, the canal that runs through part of the Venetian Casino. All of that water is clean and, well, relatively clean and that can be dumped in these tunnels. What Las Vegas is trying to build for right now is what they call 100-year floods. So it's not exactly a flood that happens every 100 years, but it's a flood that has a one in 100 chance of happening each year. So it's not the flooding that's new, it's that people will build giant casinos or build their homes. And for 10 years, there won't be a flood and they'll think that that's normal and they won't realize that in fact, it is normal to have erratic occasional flooding. Hello? Hey, anyone around? Don't want to bother you if so, but uh, we're just doing some filming. Hey, hello? If anybody's here, I'd love to talk to you. What? Hi, uh, my name's Steve. I'm doing some filming with a friend. I just wanted to see if we could talk to you for a few minutes. Put down the camera. Hey, yeah, what's up? I'm Steve. This is my friend Andrew. Uh, do you expect to be um, flooded out this year? Do you do you think there'll be a time I've when you have to leave? Out twice. Already flooded out twice this year? I have had dead dogs hit me in the head and everything. I was sleep, woke up. Water came and the dog just hit me in the head. I ended up on the other side of a terrible casino. Really? Oh, yeah. Washington. You got washed all the way through this thing? Yep. Yeah. Best way I figure it is to give me a huge inflatable boat tied to the ladder over there. So when it rang, I just float. I have all the stuff in there with me. So when it rang, I just float. It'd be a day like today. I'll go to work. As soon as I get to work, it'll start pouring down rain. I won't get here in time to save nothing. Really? That's fast? Man. And like, okay, like from here to the end of the tunnel, we get caught down here. Man, it took us like two hours to get out of here. You had, to get had to your hands water. pressed yeah, yeah, up yeah. here. You don't pick your feet up. As soon as you pick that foot up, that undercurrent is dead. 
whole bunch of people down there. I do not fuck with most of them shoot heroin and shoot speed. A lot of uh, instability down there. Right down there, they take you straight to Imperial Palace. Pretty little stream. Yeah, you go through here, yeah. I mean, it take you straight through. Excellent, awesome. Yeah. My name's Steve, I don't want to bother anybody. Hey, is anybody here? Don't want to bother you, but if anybody's around, I'd love to talk with you for a bit. Check out, these are beautiful tunnels up here. Check this stuff out. Huh. Check out the other stuff. Careful, are you gonna be okay with this? I keep on seeing movement by the mouth of the tunnel we just came in. And it could be bits of his campsite blowing in the wind, like part of the, the flap from the tent, but I hate that feeling of going into a tunnel where we have no idea how far it goes or if we'll be able to get out the other end and having the sense that somebody's blocking us from the exit. So let's go around one more curve. I know I've said that a couple times. This is either from a campsite that was right here that got flooded, or it might have been from one or two miles upstream. But um, these have just all gotten swept down here. All right, uh, this is making me feel a little nervous, Andrew. At this point, we have a campsite with people who might return ahead of us, and a campsite with people who might return behind us. <sighs> And we've been warned that this is a dangerous area. So I'll actually breathe a little easier once we get back to fresh air. Back to sunlight, still not out. Good kid. Hey, hello. Hello. Join up with the couple that we met earlier. Live down here, hopefully they'll show us around their place. Hey, how's it going? Is that Ned? Yeah. How are you doing? Good to see you again. So, I don't know, like, do you feel like giving a tour of the place? We can. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, we can't, I go should think that this is going to be... Go in? Uh, I don't know. It looks kind of scary yeah, back there. It does get a little scary. We're going to try. Come on. Yeah. Come on, buddy. You're cleaning up. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um, to go back if we don't want to break our backs anymore. And then it gets real tight again at the, at the very end, right? Oh, whoa. Holy shit. Or like this whole drain gets full all through here down that one. Yeah. There was a camp here. You see the match? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It just, but it comes through so hard here, so fast. I mean, it just wipes all Yeah, the there's uh, no protection from it at all, right? It really starts back here. <laughs> um, you see, in the middle, you see the island right there? Yeah. There's an island over here, so. Uh, it starts coming around, like when it's low enough, it just start from both ends, right? Coming around that island. Right, coming yeah. around the island. So it'll, it'll divert it to the center here. 
And what we've tried to do over time is build these little bits of walls mm -hmm. so that as the pressure comes this way, it'll still deflect this direction from the center of uh, the, or this division right here. We kind of like diverted it here uh, and gave it some sort of uh, little curvature to it too. Uh, I'm a homophobe and creep. You yeah, can imagine so how me living down here is right. During the daytime, <laughs> sleeping is, like, you know, oh! the dust away. Yeah, we clean a lot more when she's <laughs> here because she likes it cleaner than most of us. So we had no warning you came only to sleep. Well, by the time you see the water coming, it's too late. Yeah. First first flood that we were here for, her and I, we experienced a foot and a half wall of water coming down there. Jesus and uh, we didn't have much time at all to move our belongings. And uh, they've actually had, on the news, people coming floating out of those tunnels yeah. on top of their mattresses. And if you're farther back, you're... You're fucked. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How long have each of you been living in the, the um, drainage areas? Like either this or other. Drake's been here much tunnel. longer. This is how I kind of found out about it was he was like, well, you know, times get tough, D. I know it may look bad and seem bad, but, you know, it's a shelter. That We finished our last job, <clears throat> and they couldn't, they had no other jobs to bid. So they uh, pretty much laid off the entire company. Anyway, to, to finish the question, yeah. yeah, we just built on the outskirts, and then uh, the commercial I did was all the high-rise condos when they were a big popular deal. Uh -huh. We did all those, and then when those weren't popular anymore, construction stopped, and that's the residential was so overflooded with new home, and the, the condo thing stopped, so there was no more work. You know any unfinished high rises we could yeah, sneak into and climb blue. the top of? Sounds yeah, blue. that one was the one I've been, I've had my oh, eye on. Oh, sneaking into one, huh? It's actually stopped midway through construction because they ran out of funding. Right now we're at the, the northern end of the Las Vegas Strip. This is Circus Circus. On our left, the Riviera. And this is the old downtown. A new development has taken place over here. And this, this is the uh, half completed, 98% completed Fontainebleau Resort. Uh, topped out in 2008 as the tallest building in Las Vegas, 68 stories. All right. We ideally we want to do this at a time when um, when no cars are passing by. Do you want to go over? Go. You can still step on my shoulder. Maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour before it gets light. 
Yeah, I can't believe how long it's taken us. Thirty-six, floor forty-one, tower fifty-eight. Means overall we're on the sixty-fifth floor. So after literally six hours of trying to get up the top here, we finally the top down, and it's raining. These were not in the tunnels. I really hope that's not for us. I don't think those sirens are for us. You never know for sure, Andrew. Careful, it's very slippery right now. We've been here Three days, four nights, I've lost a glove. <laughs> We're just about to get to the very highest point in the entire city. Top of the tallest train building, the tallest building in all of Las Vegas. Look at that. It's pretty fucking cool, right? <laughs> wow. Andrew, thank you for coming. Never in a million years did I think this would work. Think we're home free?